Is fat a weapon of mass destruction? Even though I'm a happy person, I still worry that my weight could destroy my health. 38-year-old Pam's health was almost destroyed by excess fat. Two years ago, she weighed 425 pounds. My doctor diagnosed me with breast cancer, and I was going to have to have surgery. He said to me, I need you to lose weight because you're in a very dangerous area for you to go under anesthetic. That because of the size that I was with blood pressure issues, heart issues, he was afraid that I could have a cardiac arrest during the surgery. It was a life-changing uh, moment for me, and I committed myself 300% to lose the weight. Pam's surgery was successful, and eventually she lost 240 pounds. But with the weight loss came excess skin and deflated breasts. To me, it looks really disgusting. I just hate it, and it's not going away. Now Pam wants a belt lipectomy, surgery to remove the excess skin from her belly and back, and a breast lift. I hope that the surgery finally brings me to where I want to be, and that's completely happy with my body. In a hidden camera experiment, we'll find out if reaction to a sloppy chocolatier changes when we change her from wafy to weighty. The Seattle Children's Research Institute reveals that people who are obese at the age of 27 more than double their risk of suffering from depression by the age of 30. Does obesity cause depression? Or does depression cause obesity? I was always happy and outgoing when I was slim. But when I gained the 45 pounds, I became more depressed and stayed home more often. Does obesity cause depression? Or does depression cause obesity? Who cares? Marion Kumi teaches media studies at Ryerson University. 77% of obese people say that they feel depressed every single day. On the one hand, depression can trigger hormones which cause weight gain. But on the other hand, obese people can feel depressed simply because they're upset over the way that they look. 38-year-old Pam has lost 240 pounds through healthy diet and exercise. People ask me what I do to diet. I'm not on a diet. It's a lifestyle. Once I found my nutritionist, Jill. Great to see you. Jill basically taught me the tools to take on a, a nutritional plan. And at that time, she also recommended that I have a trainer to work out with. And that's how I really brought myself to come down and lose over 240 pounds. But despite the weight loss, Pam is still unhappy with the appearance of her body. I have this huge apron, this huge batch of skin at the front. To me, it's just so ugly. It's gross. I have very saggy breasts. They hang around. When I lay on my back, they go to my underarms. Now Pam is undergoing a belt lipectomy, surgery to remove excess skin from her belly and back, and a breast lift. I'm never going to be that skinny mini girl. That's just not me. But what I do hope to be is curvy so that I look a little more hourglass. It's really important to get rid of this excess skin because when I'm working out, it's a real hindrance. I do my 10K run and I find that it's hitting the tops of my legs and even when I'm doing my crunches, I'm not doing a full crunch because my stomach is banging and it's hitting in the way. With the surgery, what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove the excess skin that I can't do through exercise or diet. Research from Yale University shows that overweight and obese people are perceived of as more sloppy than people who are of an average weight. In a hidden camera experiment, we put this perception to the test. We're sending Lean Lisa to a busy downtown street corner to pose as a sloppy chocolatier with a stained scarf, launching a new hot chocolate. I'm a chocolatier. And I'm just giving out samples of my homemade recipe. I'd like to try and get it in gourmet shops. Feel free to have some marshmallows if you like them. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like it? Yeah. Hi. Would you like to try some hot chocolate? I'll warm you up. I bet you're cold today. You like it? Yeah. Great. It's awesome. It's great. You yeah. like it? But what we really want to know is how hot chocolate drinkers will rate Lean Lisa on an appearance scale. And I'm just taking a poll right now on my overall appearance today. One being a sloppy mess, five being nice and polished. How would you rate me? Five? five yeah. 
Very nice. We won't say anything about the chocolate on your scarf. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> so cute. We have to give you a Oh, thank you so much. I had no idea that cute removes stains. Cute's like the new bleach. How would you rate my overall appearance today? If a hard critique came right now, he'd say four. You know why? Why is that? Because you have the chocolate on there. The <gasps> other is beautiful. Oh, no! So if I didn't have this here, would you give me a five? No, I would give you a five anyways. Five okay. being nice and polished and one being a sloppy mess. How, uh -huh. would, you, how would you rate me? Uh, five. Five? Yeah. Wonderful. She does look very polished, but uh, say it with me. Hairnet. I will give three. Three? Yeah. Four? Four? How would you rate five. me? Five? Yeah. Fantastic. Five? They gave me a five. They both thought I was nice and polished. Yay! Hot chocolate drinkers gave Lean Lisa a rating of 4.9 out of 5 on the appearance scale. She got a bit of chocolate. <gasps> oh! If that wasn't there, would you have given me a 5? <laughs> no? <laughs> OK. Pam worked for two years to lose 240 pounds, but is still unhappy with the appearance of her body. So she's undergoing surgery to remove excess skin from her belly and back and a breast lift. Being overweight, I started to think that nobody would like me the way I was because I didn't like me. Since I've lost the weight, more people are approaching me. Um, definitely, I have more men approaching me. I think that this surgery will be a stepping stone to finding that special someone that, you know, is happy with themselves because I'll be happy with myself. Most of my friends and family think it's a really great idea for me to do this. I'm happy for Pam that she's having the surgery, and I do think she needs it. She's come such a long way, and she's lost so much weight that I, I, I believe this is the last step. Not only this surgery, but her whole journey, everything is going to help Pam find somebody to spend her life with. Cheers. 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 New body. New body. Thank with you. this all gone, I'll feel that I finally have got down to my real body. I'm excited. I really can't wait to go to this next chapter of my life. A study from Monash University in Australia reveals that 95% of overweight and obese persons surveyed say they have experienced humiliation due to their weight. I had a boyfriend once who decided after a month that he wanted to be with a smaller woman. It made me feel absolutely horrible. TV shows have often perpetuated the negative stereotypes about the overweight. They're less likely to have romantic interactions on the programs. They're less likely to have positive interactions with other characters, period. In the second part of our hidden camera test, we're transforming Lisa from wafy to weighty. And we're sending weighty Lisa back to the busy downtown street corner to pose as a sloppy chocolatier with a stained scarf, launching a new hot chocolate to find out how drinkers will rate her on an appearance scale. If the research is correct and overweight workers are perceived to be sloppy, then hot chocolate drinkers may rate weighty Lisa lower on the appearance scale. Hello, how are you? Would you like some free hot chocolate? Tell me how you like it. Thank you very much. You guys are great. Here you go. How do you like it? Tell me what you think. It's good? So how do you guys like it? Tastes good? Weighty Lisa is swamped by hot chocolate drinkers. But will they like her appearance as much as they like her hot chocolate? But one more question before you leave. How would you rate me on my appearance? One being a sloppy mess or five being polished the best? A four? Just a napkin around the neck. Oh, no. I would give you a five if your scarf didn't look like used toilet paper. Ooh. What? It's true. It does. A five? Thank you so much. You have a great day. A five? Five. Five? Five? Five. Five? Five point five. Five point five? Yeah. Like a ten. A ten? Yeah. And how would you rate me? One being sloppy or five being polished the best? I'm beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. Hot chocolate drinkers gave Weighty Lisa an average of 5.1 out of 5 on the appearance scale. A higher average than the 4.9 hot chocolate drinkers gave to Weighty Lisa. I think people are more willing to accept 
larger people when it comes to selling food and selling chocolate. And maybe it shows that uh, she enjoys the chocolate more than a skinnier Lisa might have. Here, Jen, here's Pam's chart. Dr. Tim Spruill is a board-certified plastic surgeon practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Pam today for a belt lipectomy, surgery to remove excess skin from her belly and back, and a breast lift. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Let's look at your tummy first. Why don't you just stand and um, expose the offending area, so to speak. Okay, you've got uh, a very significant lower abdominal roll, and you've also got a very prominent central abdominal roll. Mm -hmm. I think that you would benefit significantly from a procedure to remove this extra skin and fat, mm -hmm. um, a procedure we call a belt lipectomy, which okay. gives you an incision that goes right around you like a belt. Okay. The scar will be down in this region here. Okay. And we'll probably be able to move oh, most of the skin from your belly button down. This tissue here basically mm -hmm. will be pulled down okay. to here. That handles the tummy. Okay. Let me have a look at your breasts now, too. Okay, you've got these deflated breasts. Mm -hmm. There's a few things we can do to make them better. We can actually do an operation, take this tissue, mm -hmm. and we turn it underneath and give you, in a sense, a kind of a breast augmentation right. with your own tissues, um, and at the same time, correct the redundancy you've got in the fold. Okay. All right. A belt lipectomy and breast lift surgery are not without risk. Pam could face complications. Persistent swelling. Surgery can change the water retention properties of tissue, causing an abnormal accumulation of fluid under the skin. Deep vein thrombosis. Long surgeries can cause blood clots to form in the legs, which can result in cardiac or pulmonary complications. Spitting sutures. The body can reject sutures and push them to the surface of the skin, requiring a corrective procedure. Pam is willing to take on the risks of a belt lipectomy and breast lift so that she can transform her body. Her father and stepmother accompany her to the clinic on surgery day. So we're all ready to go? That's great. Just have a seat. Okay. And our nurse will be right with you. Thank you. Okay. I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited uh, for the end result. My main thing is I really want to get rid of this apron, you know, this excess skin, and I do want to have full breasts that look very natural and very womanly and, and, and sexy. Yes, hi, my name is Michelle. Hi, hi Michelle. I'm doing this for me. I've worked so hard to lose this weight so that I can take myself to where I want to be and where I feel that I will be totally happy. This is just for, just for Pam. I want to feel completely great about myself, about my body. <laughs> Research from Lincoln State University reveals that when it comes to dating, obese women prefer heavy partners, but obese men prefer partners in a normal weight range. Yeah, but there are some guys who like big women. They call themselves chubby chasers, which is totally wrong, because, I mean, please, <laughs> we don't run. The National Center for Health Statistics in the U.S. reports that men have less tolerance for overweight partners than women. <laughs> We're going to a local pool hall to ask men, would you dump your mate for gaining 50 pounds? I'd have to say, dump. The question you let yourself go shows the lack of interest to maintain a relationship. I'm gonna say I would have to dump her, because that would be about 50% of her body weight. That would mean she was slacking, I guess. I would have to say dump. To maintain a relationship, you have to maintain a certain level of physical attractiveness. I would have to say dump. I would lose that physical attraction. Sorry. What happened to true love? I guess it's gone on a diet. I will keep her. If you really love your lady, then you stick with her regardless what it is. Keep. There's a lot more to life and love than physical attraction and how somebody looks. It's what's inside them that counts. Definitely, we're going to keep them. Boom. You know you fall in love with a person on, on what's inside. As long as she can fit in the Jeep, then you got to keep. <laughs> keep, for sure. Uh, well, I mean, I'm overweight myself, so I can't really judge someone else for something that I do improperly every day. 
I definitely keep them. I've always been self-conscious of my weight, and I don't really think I should make somebody else feel self-conscious just because they're overweight. I would definitely dump. Just because I'm a guy who likes to work out and um, you know keep fit, so if she doesn't, it kind of reflects negatively on me. Excuse me, sir, I think you reflect negatively on you. 50% of these men would dump their mate for gaining 50 pounds. Hi, Pam. Hi. All set to go? Two years ago, Pam weighed 425 pounds. After a 240-pound weight loss, she's undergoing surgery to remove excess skin from her belly and back and a breast lift. The excess skin does remind me of what I was. I was huge, and it's why I've made the decision and why I'm here today. All right. I want to do this before I'm 40, and I want to just, you know, take myself to a different area in my life, and I feel that this will help me do that because it'll take away the reservations I have about my body. Sit tight now. Dr. Sproul begins by making incisions along Pam's buttocks and lower back. Excess skin is removed, and the incision is closed. Next, Pam is turned on to her back, and excess skin is removed from her abdomen. Dr. Sproul pulls Pam's remaining skin tight, creates a new opening for her navel, and the incisions are closed. Finally, Dr. Sproul harvests tissue from under Pam's arms and uses it to fill her deflated breasts. Everything's done. Pam's belt lipectomy and breast lift surgery took seven hours to complete. Is Dr. Sproul happy with the outcome? I think Pam's surgery went really fabulously well. It was a really tough operation. Hey, Pam. But I think that uh, she's going to get a great result. No problems during the surgery at all. I'll talk to you later. Have your wake up bit. OK. Pam will be carefully monitored in the clinic overnight. The University of Oxford reports that moderate obesity shortens lives by three years and that people who are severely obese will die 10 years earlier than they should. Is this episode meant to be an intervention? Like, seriously, are my parents coming? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that obesity is the second most preventable cause of death in the United States. We are going back to the local pool hall to ask women, would you dump your mate for gaining 50 pounds? Definitely dump. I will maintain myself if he can maintain himself, right? Dump. I probably would dump my man for gaining 50 pounds, not because I don't like the way it looks, but because of the health risks that come with it. I dump him for health reasons, because it's really unhealthy to not look hot. I would keep them but I would offer them help on how they could diet, exercise, and I would help them lose the weight. I would have to say dump. If he was my husband, we could work on it together. If not, probably not. Dump. I work in the fitness industry, so I know firsthand that 50 pounds of fat completely changes a person. Well, that's nice. Definitely keep. Motivate them, right? If you love someone, you should understand that maybe there's something going on in their lives that is a symptom of, you know, something that's not so good. I'll keep them, but best workout buddies ever. I would definitely keep him. Um, the inside is more important than the appearance. If you're in love with somebody, you're in love with somebody because of the kind of uh, person he is and not the way he looks, too. <laughs> yes, I would dump him because I wouldn't be attracted to him anymore. 56% of these women would dump their mate for gaining 50 pounds. Unlike the American women in the research, these women are less tolerant of weight gain than the men surveyed. 56% of the women said they would dump their boyfriends if they gained 50 pounds or more. I thought that women went for funny and personality, you know, and money. <laughs> I was surprised that the women were so intolerant. Um, I thought that perhaps they might have been more understanding, seeing as, you know, women are supposed to be the ones most obsessed about their weight. Maybe they'd understand if a man was having a weight problem. It's been six weeks since Pam underwent a belt lipectomy, 
surgery to remove excess skin from her belly and back, and a breast lift. Pam's abdomen is now less prominent. She has less hanging skin, and Pam's breasts are fuller. I am very satisfied with the results. Now that I've had the surgery, I definitely feel like I have a lot more confidence. There's been a huge transformation. I think what I'm most happy with is the lower abdomen. My upper uh, stomach area needs some work, which I can do in the gym. And my breasts, they're very perky, which is exciting. I just feel so much more comfortable. The recovery of this has been really, really tough. I went for two weeks where I really didn't get out of bed. It was very, very painful. The quality of my life is so much better. And uh, I enjoy being healthy and I enjoy being able to get out of bed and feel good about myself. There you go. Now that Pam has had plastic surgery, has she won the war on fat? I will never allow myself to get back to being obese again. You know, I'm very excited to go out and meet maybe someone special. And I feel really good about myself, so I think other people will pick up on that. Cheers. This surgery has really helped improve my life. I feel a completely different person.